bone is. A bone is the hard tissue that make up a skeleton. A tissue is a group of cells that perform a given function. Function is of bones. One, provide support to the body to enable movement. Two, bones provide shape to the body. A streamlined shape reduces friction during movement. The shape also helps is identification of the animal. For instance, this may prevent a goat from mating with a dog, preventing wastage of sperms. Because when a dog mates with a goat, there will be no viable offspring. Three, bones produce red blood cell. Four, bone stores minerals such as calcium and phosphates. Five, Bone is protect delicate organism. For instance, the skull protects the brain. One, to identify fractures. We cannot know that the bone is broken unless we know how unbroken bone look like. Two, to treat fractures. To be able to treat a fracture, you should know how the normal bone looks like so that you can bring back the pieces to the right shape. Three, to identify the cause of our death in a post-mortem. If, for example, somebody claims that a relative died from malaria, another claims that he was beaten to death, then when you remove the bones and you find that they are broken, then you are able to tell that the person died from beating. Then shapes of common bones, a scapula. Here we have a scapula ridge, we have a scapula blade. A drawing of the scapula we label scapula ridge and scapula blade. Then we put a magnification. Then femur and humerus. Femur and humerus are almost similar bones. The femur is found in the thigh. The humerus is found in the arm. How do you identify a femur from a humerus? A femur has got a small round head. A humerus has got a big round head. If the two bones are from the same animals, usually the femur is longer than the humerus. A drawing of the femur A and the humerus B. We label head, shaft, condyles. Then we put a magnification. Vertebrates. The three types of vertebrates. Those found in the neck are called cervical vertebrates. They can be identified by the vertebral arterial canals. Parts of cervical vertebrates include neurospine, neurocanal, transverse process, vertebral arterial canals, and cetrum. A drawing of a cervical vertebrae. We label neurospine, neurocanal, transverse process, vertebral arterial canals, and cetrum. Then we put a magnification. So let's give it a blade. It can be identified by the prominent neurospine. Other parts of thoracic vertebrae include transverse process, facets, neurocanal, and cetera. A drawing of the thoracic vertebrae will label neurospine, transverse process, facets, neurocanal, and cetera. Then you put 
a magnification. See? Lambda Vata Blade. The prominent feature on Lambda Vata Blade is the long prominent transverse process. Other parts include big cetrum, neural canal, and neural spine. A drawing of lumbar vertebrate. We label neural spine, transverse process, neural canal, centrum, and we put a magnification. Distinguishing between the vertebrates. Neural spine. The cervical vertebrae has got a short neural spine. The thoracic vertebrae has got a long neural spine. The lumbar vertebrae has got a short neural spine. Transverse process. The transverse process of cervical vertebrae and thoracic vertebrae are short. The lumbar vertebrae, the transverse process is long. The vertebral anterior canal, the cervical vertebrae has got the vertebral anterior canal, whereas the thoracic and lumbar lack vertebral anterior canals. Facets. The cervical vertebral does not have facets. The thoracic vertebral have facets. The lumbar vertebral does not have facets. Centrum. The centrum of the cervical and thoracic vertebral are small. That of the lumbar vertebral is big.